Exactly. Call him on. It's walleye. Hi, doing everybody. Joe Henry, Lake of the Woods Tourism, and we're at our 11th annual Pay It Forward Veterans event. And today I have Warren, Scott, and Dakota, grandfather, son, and grandson. We're out fishing on uh, the Walleye Capital World Lake of the Woods. We also got, uh, of course, our, our host, Greg Jones of Midwest Outdoors fishing with us today. He's making sure that we keep things straight and uh, we behave in the boat. But you guys, I think this is an 18 inch walleye. This is a perfect walleye for shore lunch. I think we should uh, get this baby on, on ice and let's go back and get some more. How's that sound? Let's do it. Perfect. Perfect. Felt like it first. Oh yeah, here he comes. Nice. All right, fill the cooler, boys. Just under 18. Oh, Scott, you uh, you were in the Army, is that right? Correct. Th tell us about your history in the, in the military. Uh, it's kind of a family business, so went in, ended up uh, getting a little bit injured and had to get out. Wasn't my plan to, but I'm out. And then my son ended up going in, and now we're all up here fishing. So three, three generations out here fishing. Four, technically, but Grandpa's gone. Okay, now. awesome. You know, uh, this, uh, this paid forward event, it's, it's, it's awesome. You know, the way it starts, we, uh, everybody gets here on a Monday afternoon and our first event is dinner on Monday evening. We have a, a, a great, usually a, a chicken buffet for everybody and guest speaker. We uh, start up the day on Tuesday with uh, breakfast. Everybody uh, boards charter boats at about eight o'clock in the morning. Go fishing on a charter boat with other veterans all day long. We have another fish fry that night with guest speakers. It's a three day, two day fishing trip. You know, everything is paid for because of the generosity of Lake of the Woods Resorts, some businesses, and some individuals. Uh, enough talking. Let's get this fish in the cooler and go get some more. You know, I'm here with uh, Warren Jesty, and uh, obviously you served in the military. You're in the Army. Right. See your hat and everything. Right. Tell us about uh, what division you served in and when you served. Uh, the 101st Airborne Division, and I was with them 1968 uh, until August probably August or September of 1969. That was Vietnam era, wasn't it? Vietnam, my 11th and a half month. I was almost ready to come home. I was wounded. And then I was in a mass unit and then flew to Japan in the hospital there and then Fitzsimmons Army Hospital. And were you injured by a... Uh, uh... Chai Com, enemy grenade. Really? Okay. And you still have ill effects from that? A little bit of a limp, my right. Achilles were uh, severed, and I had shrapnel behind my ear on the right side. Small pieces on, on my scalp. Some of them are still there, but it doesn't bother me at all. No. My foot does every now and then. You know, when you hear Warren talk about uh, what it was like back in Vietnam, and you figure, it's guys like this. A lot of guys didn't make it back, obviously. Oh. And, and even Warren talking about the injuries, where he still has shrapnel in his body, in his head. You know, I'll tell you what, uh, freedom isn't free. and. Uh, we, uh, we owe our, our freedom here in the United States to a lot of, a lot of brave veterans like, like Warren and many, many others. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's been a long time, and uh, being able to get all three of us out here, is, that's really nice. Tell me about, tell me about what it's like to uh, have, uh, be, be in a family full of veterans. Pride. There's a lot of pride in it. A lot of, you know, I mean, you have the normal pride of serving your country, but also family heritage, uh, being able to kind of continue on that that trend of what everyone else did and being a part of the same thing you know it's like you grow up and your dad's a farmer you're a farmer well my whole family was in the military at some point it was probably going to end up happening and it did first off i think it's so cool that three generations on a boat fishing together on a lake of the woods we just heard about that we're like that is cool as heck i'd say the other thing is man thanks for your service thanks for your sacrifice and you know uh, i think that's said uh, uh so many times but um that's why we do this event. It's, it's to honor and recognize guys and gals like yourself. And uh, you know, you think about where would I, where would I United States be without our, our great military going back generation after generation. Never gets old. So many stories from the event and you know what it really comes from is people having a good time. You know, they come from all walks of life. They've got the common denominator of some form of military service and they get in a zone where they're comfortable, they get to tell stories, exchange stories. You know, this is a lot of times where the 
guys find places to uh, get help or access the systems and so it's much more than a fishing trip and they make bonds that uh, they stay in touch with uh, the rest of their life or like these guys all three of them haven't been in a boat fishing together for nine years he said so. yeah it's important you know what uh, we, we, we purposely try to get both men and women we get all different age groups get people from all branches of the military and you know one thing about it uh, the military folks might give each other a hard time with different branches of service, but boy, I tell you what, when it all comes down to it, they're brothers and sisters in arms, and uh, it's, uh, it's incredible to see. I think we set the environment, Greg. I think the magic is veterans spending time with other veterans. Well, I tell you, what a day of fishing for our 11th annual Paid Ford event. As you can see, we, uh, we whacked the fish. We were fishing with some incredible veterans here. We got a, a grandfather, a son, and a, a grandson fishing all together and uh, we've got, what a day it's been, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's been cool. You know folks, if you want to, uh, if you're a veteran, if you know a veteran and you want to fish Lake of the Woods in the uh, Pay It Forward event some, sometime, check out our website and that is payitforwardlow.org. Hey, for Greg Jones of Midwest Outdoors, I'm Joe Henry with Lake of the Woods Tourism. More Midwest Outdoors coming up next.